it's uh, great to be here and first i would like to show you guys a video of uh, the 2012 london paralympics That was the promotional video that was uh, shown to the world for the London 2012 Paralympic Games and uh, everybody you know when the London Paralympic Games was happening everybody were going on that this will be the best games ever and uh, why the why people call that is because they overdid it they overdid themselves they overdid the capacity they thought they will never cross and uh, you know uh, the whole world got to see it and uh, it was an complete uh, you know a dream come true an honor to be there because it's every sports person's dream to be in the olympics and the paralympics and win a medal there for their country and i got the first step to achieve that and uh, uh, this shows uh, forget everything that you knew about humans so uh, we often underestimate ourselves. We can't do things. We can't, uh, this is this this can't be done. Impossible. And uh, and as shown in the video, uh, people uh, had their disability due to a lot of reasons, but they didn't stop there. They believed that they can, and they did. And uh, I'll I'll talk more about the Paralympics. Uh, coming up how it all began how I got into swimming but before that can I ask how many of you know swimming okay quite a lot that's good uh, everybody wants to go to the beach uh, go to uh, some nice place uh, where there's water and chill and uh, relax uh, but people who don't know swimming tend to get in uh, they are tempted to get in and they lo lose their lives and uh, swimming is not just a sport it's a life saving skill and i think everybody should learn that um, how it all began i was studying in little flower public school i was in fourth standard when they made it mandatory for me to learn swimming and uh, at, at the beginning, my parents were hesitant, hesitant because swimming is actually a right, li uh, people think that it's a life a risking sport, but it's just till you learn it. And uh, the school uh, school board principal and all the teachers uh, helped my parents' decision ease, and uh, I got into the water. It was difficult. Uh, everyone scared to get in the water, and it was. Uh, difficult to learn but once you learn it and once you get in the water it's the enjoyment the feel that you get and uh, since then it's just been a very beautiful ride okay that's uh, the picture on the left uh, on, my, on my right is when I was 12 years old uh, going to my first uh, international meet and 
the journey starts way before that. It starts when you train, train every day. It starts when you compete against your friends, your uh, classmates, your uh, other uh, other schoolmates, and the point where you decide to take up a career in sports or any anything is when you get your first medal, and that's the trigger uh, for people who are in different fields. Uh, when your parents give you a chocolate or an ice cream when you do something good that's a trigger for you to you know continue doing that and that's that's what i got uh, with with the medals that i won in the uh, inter school competitions and club competitions uh, two years into it i found out that there are competitions for the para sports at the national and international level and that's when i started training a bit more seriously and uh, I made my first national championship in 2012, uh, where I won four gold medals. And uh, at the very same competition, uh, of many of the coaches uh, uh, saw me, uh, who were uh, who had the students performing at the international level. Uh, they they told me uh, that I was uh, they would like me to swim at an international uh, meet, age group swimming meet, and that's. That's how uh, uh, I made my first international uh, at the very same year, and that uh, that picture was uh, when I was training for the uh, for the international meet. And uh, everybody loves to win. Uh, my coach always t tells that winning is everything, and uh, I will come to that at the later part of the stage uh, where I explain what winning is to me. And uh, since then, like um, uh, like the interviews, so I have won more than 30, 30 medals at the international and 55 at the national uh, at the national uh, championships. And that that uh, photo on the on my left is the six medals uh, winning feat at the Asian Para Games in 2014 last year, where I broke P. T. Usha's record. Uh, Every competition has its own difficult difficulty, its own experience, and I've enjoyed every single one of them. Whether whether I I failed or whether I won, every competition has its own its own experience, and I've loved every one of them. Um, a journey of thousand miles began begin with the, every single step, and that's what I did. The moment I got into the water was the first step, and it's important to continue. Uh, it doesn't matter what field you you all are choosing to uh, achieve in. It's important to take the first step. Take, believe in yourself that you can do it, and you're all you're halfway there. Uh, also, one more thought coming uh, into my mind is that. Never let a stumble be the end of your journey. There, yes, there are failures. Yes, there are uh, uh, you know lot of uh, lot of problems that you can that you can go through. Uh, but never let that stumble. Uh, we have we have all fallen down, tripped and f uh, uh, fell down a lot of times, thousands of times. But every time we have got up and we have kept on moving on. And why not do that? For whatever, uh, whatever is your dream, and uh, this this is one of the things that I have learned that you know try before you say no, and you never know what's gonna come out of it. If I wouldn't have ever tried swimming, I don't think I would have even learned. Even till today, I would have learned swimming. That's the picture of my parents. Uh, I, I don't on I don't I can't imagine how they would have felt when I was born, but, but I can only say say that you know parents love you no matter what, and of course I I do fight with them a lot uh, over a lot of issues, but the the their way of thinking is different and our way of thinking is different, but whatever they think it's the best for us and whatever they do is the best for us. But yeah, we might not be wanting to do that.
so i i i, I can't imagine uh, what what i would have been without them uh to my to my uh left is my coach john christopher i've been training with him for the past 11 years and uh he he is the main reason why my swimming career has been the best the most lovable or uh, the most enjoying moment of my life uh it's because of him and uh, uh of course in the middle everybody knows rahul david uh he's been uh, in contact with me for the past one year he's been mentoring me uh, sharing all his experience all his uh, uh, you know uh, all his advice has helped me a lot over the over the year and uh, last year i i decided to uh, end my swimming career uh, due to uh, a lot of reasons and uh, you know there's one thing that rahul dravid sir said uh, don't do it until and unless you're 100% sure so i w- i wasn't 100% sure and you know that helped me to ease my decision more uh that's one of my uh, of uh, picks with my sponsors uh, speedo which is one of the world's leading sporting brands uh, swimming brand and uh, they have been supporting me for the past 3 years and that's been a lot of uh, uh you know a lot of great support and a uh, great hospit- hospitality that they give uh, and yeah it feels to- amazing to be in those uh, suits racing suits uh, go sports foundation uh, this is something very special to me uh, 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 a very special part of my life because they have always you know worked towards the sporting fraternity and that's one of the first ngos that uh works uh, only for sports uh, to get get the indian sporting uh, uh to the world map and uh, they have been supporting me for the past 4 years and uh, it it feels great to be a part of them and of course uh, i i got introduced to uh, rahul dravid sir uh, through go sports foundation and uh, and one of the special things that they did for me is to get me trained in australia uh, which is my dream uh, dream place to uh, be at and which is one of the world's best uh, sporting uh, countries and i got an opportunity to train there with the national team uh, for 3 months and uh, you know i, I can't thank them uh, for anything more uh, i got all this support and encouragement throughout my life because i was working hard and i believe that if you are if you're not working hard uh, nothing's going to work out for you i believe talent everybody has talent everybody is born with talent nobody is without talent it's just you have to find something that you love and once you find that it's it's your talent i don't believe if something someone is doing really good in some field it's because they are talented i believe it's because they love that love doing it and that's how they are interested and they put their hard work there have been times where i have uh, uh, after winning few medals uh, you know i haven't worked hard and i could see an immediate fall of my performance and that's when i realized that hard work is everything and uh, if you work hard yes you will get all the support all the encouragement that you need everybody has a lot of inspiration from a lot of people around but there is that one one particular personality that you always look up to and you know he or she has always been on the top and that's ian thorpe who is an australian uh, swimmer uh, australia's most uh, uh, decorated swimmer and i this picture is Uh, in 2014 commonwealth games where i got to meet him and uh, that's a a pretty uh, strange story where uh, on the day uh, my friends met him i couldn't meet him because i had a different training training schedule and i went around looking for him for the next 4 days uh, in the whole stadium whenever i was hitting the pool for uh, training and uh, 
you know, uh, the next, uh, the fifth day was my event, uh, where that, that was the last day that I would be hitting the pool and I had no hopes of seeing him. And, uh, I usually, we, uh, usually warm up an hour before the event. And I don't know for what reason that day I felt like, let me just go an hour earlier and relax for a while and, uh, then get on to my schedule. Uh, I was just sitting and looking around and I saw, I, I think I saw him, but I was not sure. So I went, I went near, near him and that there he was. I, I don't know how to express. I didn't know how to express it, but I ran to my bag. I took my camera out. I called the coach, uh, Indian team coach to take a pic and I got to talk to him for about two minutes and, uh, which was, I, I can I can never forget uh, in my life. Uh, there are many personalities that I always look up to, which is Michael Phelps, uh, Sachin Tendulkar, Rahul Dravid. But meeting him is the best part because since my swimming career started, I've always been looking up to the only only one person, and that's him. And meeting him was uh, heaven. Um, Representing India at the Commonwealth Games, Asian Games, Paralympics is always, uh, you know, something really great. Uh, 2010 was my first uh, Commonwealth Games where I finished fifth, which happened in India, Delhi. And uh, that's a completely different experience because you are repre representing your country uh, in Delhi and, you know, you're swimming in front of your home nation. So that's always something special. And... 2010 common, uh, Asian Games, where I won my first uh, major uh, major medal, uh, uh, bronze medal in Asian Games, which uh, I, which I can say which is one of the biggest uh, challenges that I've faced, and uh, you know uh, my future started from there. I can tell uh, mainly. And yeah, coming back to London uh, 2012 Paralympic Games, like I said, it's every person's dream to be there. And I got my first step, uh, I achieved my first step there and it's, it's amazing how we can compete against each other and be it, uh, be friends at the same time. We, uh, I remember all the races that we go through till we are at the, uh, at the starting blocks, we are all, uh, wishing each other luck, uh, you know, congratulating each other and when we hit there it's it's our race and nobody can take it away from us uh again coming to commonwealth games 2014 like i said i met ian thope and uh you know that's for me that's that's the best games i've ever had if anybody asks me uh like which is the best games even though paralympics was and asian games was the you know highlight of my career i will i will always say commonwealth games because i got to meet ian thope and 2010, uh, 2014 Asian Para Games, again, six medals. I did not expect to win those. Uh, I knew I would be in each and every single uh, finals of the events that I took part in. But I was expecting only about two or three medals. And I got to won six, which was, again, a shock to me. Uh, I, I couldn't believe I, I did that. My first medal, like I said, it, it was a trigger uh, that I, I don't remember when exactly I won my first medal, which that is also a bad sign. You should remember your first medal. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I probably would have felt that way, uh, uh, really happy. Uh, it's an amazing feeling to always get that first medal out. Coming to my dream, and this is something Ian Thorpe has uh, said for myself, where losing is not coming second. It is getting out of the water, knowing that I could have done better, knowing that I could have p performed better. And for myself, I've won every single race that I've been in. And that's what I always concentrate on. And I've always not looked for the medal. I've always looked to give my better performance and yeah 
winning those six medals in Asian Asian Para Games, I'm proud of it, yes, but half of those medals, I'm not happy with it because I, I didn't perform my best. I could have done better and I know that and that that makes me, you know, yes, of course, I was smiling in those pics, but I, I'm, I was not happy. I want to get out there, give my 100% and always do better. No matter what level you are at, it doesn't matter uh, whether you are you're an existing world record holder or you're, you are the, uh, you know, you're, you're ranked number one. Always getting better is the thing that I look for. And uh, my dream is to be a coach and train uh, my students to be Olympic and Paralympic champions. And that's, that's my dream. Uh, I'm... I'm lucky and I'm happy that you know I got this opportunity. I'm right now doing a part-time job, but I hope to in a couple of years to take it a full-time one and work really hard towards my dream. Like I said, everybody is with talent and you need to find something you love and I found swimming. And that comes to my next question, uh, next thing, am I happy? Yes, I am and I can't I can't imagine my life without swimming. I can't anything that I do outside swimming I I don't like it. Even right now giving speech I've uh, I have st stage frightness and I don't know how many times I've have uh, I don't uh, I don't know what I'm talking about most of the times uh, Yeah but everything comes down to swimming. Uh, for me it's it's the center point of my life. Uh, whatever I do, whatever I'm thinking, it everything's related to swimming, and I'm happy. Uh, I personally believe if you're not ha not happy, don't do it. If you're not happy, there's no point of doing it because you can excel in the things only that you love and only that makes you happy. And so, uh, this coming to the end, uh, this is. This is the part of my life. This is the uh, story of my life. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, BNMIT, for giving me the opportunity to talk to you.